for years, I, I guess just being around here all the time, I didn't notice very well. The trees were expanding territory by leaps and bounds. And we had what I would say 12 or 15 years of above average precip, different times a year. All of a sudden I started seeing thousands of small trees from six inches tall to several feet high. And then I got to paying attention more and, and I could see that there were places when I was a kid, there weren't any trees or very few and, and now it was just completely filled in. So that prompted the, the brush management projects. So. so the rangeland analysis platform is a, a tool that uses satellite imagery to track vegetation changes through time. Um, it then has grown to where it can do different things with that, that data information to provide valuable outputs for land managers. I was still within like a year of being new at NRCS. Martin kind of showed me, had a general idea of what Kevin was looking at. He had already started doing some tree removal, so he kind of started a big, big picture with his whole ranch. And then once he kind of met with Dave Noggle, we had a better idea of how that platform worked. Um, so we looked at kind of small scale where we could start impacting just little by little and kind of moving through the areas that we saw the most growth as far as trees go. Um, it was kind of insane when we started getting into the nitty gritty details and seeing just how quickly even from 2011 to 2016, the amount of trees really changed for Kevin out there. And it was funny when we finally got that data and kind of printed out the aerial imagery and brought it to him, he was like, I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy. And it kind of validated everything, not only that he was seeing and feeling that was going on, but also what we were seeing and kind of having that science to back up what our gut feeling was really telling us. So that was pretty, pretty awesome to see as far as projects go. This is, this is the, the next project area I'm working on. I started back here, there weren't very many of these bigger trees. There was a lot of the small stuff and I'm working this way to do everything that's south of this road. Then eventually we're gonna get into some of this, not where it's, we're gonna try to get something mechanical like a mulcher that we can cut these down and, and mulch them. And, but only on the, the shallower slopes, the, the severe slope, there's too many trees and I wouldn't want to get rid of them anyway. I mean, they're in places they're erosion control and, and shelter for wildlife as well as livestock. But we'll work in here a little ways and just back this away from this ridge a little bit and just continue forth. I'm real early into the project. The results aren't, aren't necessarily as immediate, but, but they're gonna, they're definitely gonna start showing because these trees are growing by leaps and bounds every year. And if I don't take care of some of the smaller ones when they're easier to deal with, it's gonna get a lot more prohibitive, so. RSA tries to support ranching and conservation. And that's what our, our conservation committee and our partners are super good at. But community is the third leg of what RSA stands on. And by building that conservation community, we're able to make conservation go further. So by creating connectivity between conservation agencies and organizations, we're able to then do more for ranchers. I'm just excited to be going forth with, with these projects. The tree thinning, I think, is gonna be tremendous. It's, it's something that we have to start working on. Uh, it's gonna be a slow process trying to work at it, but we have to start somewhere.